shopping season is around the corner. We already have some Black Friday deals and predictions before we get to all these electronics in front of me. Becky Worley is in San Francisco with How to Score Big. Good morning, Becky. Good morning, Michael. Retailers have trained us. Discounts come in these big shopping weekends. We're talking Black Friday. And in order to maximize on savings, you need to know what's coming and be prepared to jump on the deals. Hold on. Before you buy, you need to plan. What's on sale? How big of a discount? And where should you shop? We're 20 days out, so here come the ads. For electronics, the big players will again be Walmart, Target, and Best Buy, with Amazon trying to outprice them all. As for Amazon, they usually don't release any sort of ads or anything like that. What they do is they brand their deals pages on their site. Even still, we have a good idea about how sales will play out. For Android phones, look for deals on the new Samsung Galaxy S9 models coming in at $150 off retail. For the iPhone, no discounts, but Walmart, Best Buy, and others sweeten the deal with gift cards for as much as $300. I would recommend, if you're considering buying a phone or video game system, seeing which one offers either the best gift card or the best bundle, since in those categories, they'll feature, everyone's going to feature the same things. And another hot gift, smart speakers. $25 at Kohl's over the Black Friday weekend, they fall to their lowest price of the year. And remember, whether it's mailing deadlines or the fact that Hanukkah starts the 3rd of December this year, getting ahead of your holiday shopping is always a good thing, Michael. And you know what, Becky, when you come to Black Friday and the shopping, TVs are always seem to be the most popular thing. So what are some of the best deals on TVs? It's going to be an interesting year. You have there a 55-inch 4K TV that will be sold as a doorbuster in-store at Target on Thanksgiving. Now, the price, ready for this, $199. Bucks. For a 55-inch TV, that's $180 bucks off. Those prices have just come way down. But o OLED televisions, though, yeah, people are happy about that. <laughs> but OLED televisions, though, they're always really expensive. Is there going to be any break on those? Oh, big time expensive. Uh, this is one of those times when people are actually upgrading because the technology has gotten better. OLEDs, OLEDs, they're very bright. They have deep, deep blacks. None of that mottled gray that seems pixelated. So rich, rich picture. The ads haven't completely shaped up in this category, but we're expecting to see 25% discounts or more. That's like 800 bucks off the manufacturer's price in mm. the 65-inch TVs. Big price cuts. And But what about also, if you're not in the mood for a TV, but you want smaller electronics, what about the smaller electronics? Right. we got to have some for everybody. Not everybody gets a TV this year. Sorry. This, this is an Oprah show. No. <laughs> Perennial staples, streaming sticks like the Roku you have there. Uh, they'll make any TV into a smart TV. Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. Roku sticks are already advertised. This will be on Black Friday weekend. $48 at Walmart, marked down from $69. So that's a, that's a really good gift. And, of course, everybody's favorite, the laptop. What are the predictions on the laptop? Chromebook, something like what you have there, predicted to fall as low as $99. And when the specifics come out, they're not around yet. Uh, which day we'll see the best laptop deals? Well, that's still to be determined. But I think Best Buy and Amazon are going to hit those low prices on Chromebooks for sure, Michael. All right. Thank you, Becky. I'm just going to take this one. All right, everybody. Happy shopping.